Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of my new Nespresso Virtual Plus machine. <laughs> like comment subscribe down below show your girl some love you guys can also find me over on instagram at maison molly i'd love to connect with you there as well we've been having so much fun on the gram lately and i hate for you guys to miss it so if you want to join our coffee party go ahead and find me right here let's hop into this unboxing of my new nespresso virtual plus for those of you who don't know, this is actually going to be my second Nespresso Virtual Plus machine. I actually purchased one 15 months ago, and of course I didn't have this channel then, so I didn't do an unboxing. So it's kind of fun to do an unboxing for this one. That machine broke and the company was able to send me a new one. If you guys wanna see um, the video on the details of that machine and what happened, you can check it out right here. But today I'm excited to open this new machine with you and do an unboxing. So uh, let's hop right into it. Alrighty guys, so full views, this is what the machine looks like. This is the front of the box. Um, it shows the machine and it has like the different cup sizes, the different capsules, all that jazz. Um, I got a matte black one. Uh, when you turn it around, just honestly more pictures. Here it tells you same kind of thing, cup sizes three capsules, um, centrifusion uh, technology, which we can talk about, um, back of the box, and then a lineup of all of the pods in the uh, virtual collection. So let's go ahead and pop this open. So there are two tabs back here. Pretty easy to open. The box folds out really nicely, very easy. Like that, like so like that. <laughs> um, first thing that I see is a booklet. So it's a Nespresso Virtual Plus My Machine book. Uh, let's see, I presume this is obviously just like a manual. Um, that goes through, you know, how to work the machine, how to start it up, how to clean it, um, what the machine comes with, all of that jazz, which I'll just be going through with you guys because I've obviously had one before. So I think that I'm pretty, you know, knowledgeable on all of the pieces. So uh, it will come with this for you if you need further directions, but I'll just kind of go through everything for you guys. So let's try to get it on out of this big old box. Grab this guy and grab this guy. And those are all of our, our parts. So let's get rid of the box. Alrighty, so this is the machine. I'm kind of excited because um, my old machine, let me grab it, I'll show it to you guys. So my old machine looks like this. It's a matte black version and it's from the company's DeLonghi. They have the license for this one. And I really love the matte black and they didn't have it available um, the way mine is set up. So hold on. Just so I can close this so you guys can see. Is it on? All right, so the cord's kind of short, but um, you can see that the tops are different. So my old one, the top is kind of flat. This one's a little bit more circular. My friend has this one, but hers is a shiny and I thought that's what I was getting. So I'm kind of excited that this does come in a matte black and it looks as though this one is, hold on. So it looks as though this one just comes directly from Nespresso because my DeLonghi one says it right there, whereas this one doesn't have a name on the tray. So I think that Nespresso just made this machine. But I am super excited to have it in matte black again. Let's get into all the details. All right, I'm still looking organized. So this is everything that the machine comes with. Let's go through it. Um, first and foremost, we already did the book. 
Um, then this is like a little discover card. Let me come closer. Um, it says inside is $10 off your first coffee order. And then when you open it, um, it says join by placing your first coffee order, so on and so forth. It gives you the coupon. Um, then when you open it, it just kind of gives you full instructions. So it says like, you know, fill the water tank, all that stuff. Um, and then it shows you all of the pods that you're gonna be able to use with this machine. And then it also talks about the recycling process and how you can turn your pods um, in once you have used them. There goes your coupon. And yeah, that's it for that. Kind of super excited about this part. Who doesn't like to get free pods? Um, this is a pretty much a sleeve of pods. It comes with 11 capsules. A sleeve usually comes with 10. And um, let's let's open it up. system comes with this it's a great way for an espresso to introduce you to the pods and for you to see which ones that you actually enjoy so that you can then go ahead and purchase those full sleeves um let's see what's in this one. Oh, and this is perfect so you guys are always asking for guides um i would suggest holding on to this it's a great way for you to have like know all of the pods know their intensities know what they are about and um, once you take this off, there you go. You're gonna have uh, 12 pods, right? Three, six, nine, 12. Um, how beautiful is this? <laughs> um, I, let's see how many of these I, Maison Molly knows offhand. Um, this is Voltesso. I love Voltesso. It's the single espresso shot. Um, intensity of four, I'd like to say, and it's really creamy. It's nice and latte. So yeah, intensity of four. Then we have Altissio. Altissio is an intensity of eight. It's kind of dark and dark, but creamy. So again, really nice with those latte drinks. Um, intensity of nine, just kidding. Then we have Diavoluto. This is one of my absolute favorites. Intensity of 12, very dark, intense, robust, great for the morning time. 11 i'm failing um but close then we have a double espresso chiaro um one of my favorite double espresso pods again it's kind of like i don't know it's intense but not crazily intense um definitely nothing like bianca leggero which is this guy bianca leggero is currently sold out so happy to get an extra one um this guy amazing in your lattes it's milky it's creamy it's a part of the barista collection so a great one to try this pot i want to say it's like what's it called oh something with an a let's see no just kidding for tato um, I'm not, I've tried it before. I'm not crazy about it, so I don't have a lot of details on it, but here it says it's an intensity of eight and it is one of those, um, pods that are like five ounces or five, yeah, 5.07 ounces. Then for coffee pods, they've given us Melasio. I love Melasio. It's my favorite coffee pod. Um, it's really smooth and just goes a long way with just a little bit of milk. Um, Melasio is an intensity of six. We've got Stormio, um, not one of my favorites. It's really strong, and I guess I don't really like strong coffees, um, but it's fine. I wouldn't purchase it, but I like to drink it. Um, then we have uh, Bianco Forte, right? Bianco Forte. Yep, Bianca Forte, another great one. I just like to have it with a little bit of milk. It's a part of the barista collection. We then have Columbia. I've tried Columbia once. I had it in my, um, what do you call that thing? My advent calendar from Christmas. I've never bought a full sleeve, but I actually really enjoyed it. And then there is this guy, the Decafinito. I actually have this, but they look different now. Like, hold on, I'll show you guys. Well, no, actually, I've never tried this. I have half caffeinito, but I haven't tried this one. Um, so excited to try that. And then, of course, this one is Alto Dulce. Um, this one is a 
is it a 14 ounce? Yeah, it's the one, well, there's two 14 ounce pods. This is one of them. I've actually never tried it. I think I still have mine from when I first bought the machine. So it's probably expired now because I don't ever need like 14 ounces of coffee, but um, I guess I'll give it a go this time. So I think this is awesome. I think it's great that they invest and they make this nice little capsule box so that you can try all of these different capsules and see which one you like. Um, it even tells you like how to have them. So here it says these are really nice iced and just all the information, cup sizes. Here it tells you that these are like nice with desserts, um, cup sizes, all of that. So it's a pretty nice little gift, I would say. And um, yeah, it'll definitely get you started. Alrighty, so let's get back into the actual machine. So these are the parts that it's gonna come with. The machine, it is one big part. Um, on the back of the machine, you'll see this little storage tray. It's where all of your pods will dispense into. So of course, once this is full, you can just grab it out, dump it into a recycling bag, clean it. I usually like wash mine out because you'll get like coffee grinds in there. And then you just pop it back on, right? This is your drip tray. Um, drip tray, of course, is important for like coffee spills and things like that. It is adjustable. So let's see, you can put it, you can put it on the bottom like that. Or if you're having like, if I'm using my espresso um, mugs, let me show you, hold on. So if I'm using my espresso mug, which is like this teeny little thing, I'm not going to put it all the way down there, right? I'm going to take this and put it here that way there's no spill. So that's the purpose of the drip tray. It captures spills, but it also moves up and down depending on the height of your glass. Now, um, sometimes I need to use like a large mug. So I'll just remove the drip tray altogether and then I can just put my mug directly under. Other things about the machine comes with the water tank. So this is the water tank. Boom. Um, I always use fresh filtered water for my um, for my drinks. So um, don't get caught out there. There's been a few times where my my tank wasn't full, and the machine obviously you need the water. So um, you're gonna ruin your pod, ruin your drink if you don't make sure that this is always full. If you forget and then there's no water, then um, it obviously stops dispensing coffee, but you've used the pot in the system, right? So always fresh water in here. Try not to use tap water only because of like, I don't know, like the particles in it and that can mess up the inside of your machine too. Um, we see what's in, you know, tap water. You don't want that stuff in your machine. So fresh, clean water is best. Oh so, yeah, this is the back of the machine. You go ahead and pop that on. The thing that I love about this machine is the space saver. So you can swivel the water tank. So let's say the machine is like that. You can swivel it to the side, but for me, I always keep mine directly in the back just so that I have more space on the counter. So that it's just all vertical like that, right? So less space being taken up. Comes with a lid. You pop it off, put your water in. Pop it back on, easy peasy. Also, this is what you're gonna use for the cleaning cycle, and it's also what you're gonna use for the um, descaling cycle, right? Hold on. I was in the middle of like descaling my last machine when it stopped working. Um, so I'm kind of bummed because I did buy this descaling solution and it's stuck in here with water. Um, so don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but this is what you what it will look like when you are ready to descale. You'll put water in here and you'll put the solution, you put it on there and follow instructions for descaling. So some other features of the machine. Um, on the top, there's gonna be a button with a little um, cup on it. That's how you turn on the machine. When you turn it on, it's gonna be blinking green, um, but once it becomes a steady green, then it's ready for use. In order to open the machine, you're going to use this little lever right here. So you're just going to push it up and that's going to open. Since I've got you guys here, we're just going to go ahead and do the first cleaning cycle of the machine. You should always do that when you get it. I have my purified drinking water, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this on up. Pop 
pop that back on. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug the machine in. When you plug the machine in, you can then go ahead and click the button on the top. As I said, it's going to be blinking green. So now that we've added the water, we've plugged it in, we've hit the top button, it is steady. We're gonna go ahead and push the coffee um, button on the top to activate the cleaning cycle. So we're gonna do it three times in two seconds. The whole time this is happening, you will see that the orange light will continue to blink and the machine will go through three cleaning cycles. I am now on the second. Alrighty, so it's gone through three cleaning cycles. As soon as it stopped, the green light came on, so we know that it is all done. Your machine, my friends, are now ready for use. So there you have it, guys, an unboxing of my new Virtual Plus machine. Um, it was fun to do this video for you guys. If you have any questions about your machine or if you'd like to explore new drinks, I've got tons of recipes up on my channel. So um, go ahead and look into that. I would actually suggest one of my favorites, the Reverso Intenso. I'll link that video for you right up here. Um, for that video, you're gonna use this pod, which is Bianco Forte. So again, guys, enjoy your machine. I know that you're gonna love it. If you have any questions, Feel free to ask me here or find me over on Instagram at Maisal Molly. And I hope to see you guys on my channel sometime soon.